October 13. Look and live. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and it shall be that everyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall live. Numbers 21, 8. Jesus' explanation to Nicodemus of the plan of salvation contains what is likely the most well-known verse in the entire Bible. But on the way to John 3.16, Jesus pointed Nicodemus to a curious passage of the Bible in an attempt to help the respected Pharisee understand how a person is saved. When Jesus told Nicodemus it was essential that he be born again, Nicodemus appeared confused as to what Jesus meant. So Jesus directed him to Numbers 21 and recounted a story that was so clear Nicodemus could not possibly fail to understand. Jesus said, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John three fourteen and 15. Journeying through the wilderness and overtaken by discouragement, the children of Israel complained bitterly even expressing contempt for the very means God was employing to keep them alive. There is no food and no water, and our soul loathes this worthless bread. Numbers 21.5 When venomous snakes When venomous snakes moved among them and people began to die, God instructed Moses to make a serpent of brass and place it on a pole. And it shall be that everyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall live. It required no pilgrimages, no penance, no money given, and there was no distinction between one person or another. In order to live, all a person had to do was look at the snake on the pole. God asked them to look and live. And this is how Jesus explained the plan of salvation to Nicodemus. We are to look to Jesus and live. The one who beholds Jesus, who looks upon the Savior, is looking upon life itself. While sin ends in death, eternal life is found in looking away from sin and self and looking to the one who died for the sins of the world. By beholding Jesus, we are changed into his image. Old things pass away, and Jesus remakes the life in his image. We are to look to Jesus and live.